self-painted variants of IS-184 are truly intriguing specimens. These priests, or monks, show clear indication of tool-making and ritualistic behavior. It seems to have formed a rudimentary civilization in one of the Antiverse II locations we've accessed. This raises intriguing research questions, as well as some ethical implications, I suppose. Though I'd note that these haven't stopped us previously. Dr. Derek Mance reporting, research director. We've discovered that direct observation from the targeted subject arrests O91's movement. It then dematerializes. Where it goes, we're uncertain. But it returns three or four hours later, seeking out the original subject. We've dosed Dr. Stern with a CNS to keep him awake, but he has to sleep at some point. And then, well, we're not entirely sure.
Note on IS-102. We have determined the bacteriophage recovered by Lenora's team from Antiverse 16 is a form of symbiote used by local species to assist mating. You could almost call it a love potion. Preliminary tests show the effects on mammalian biology are extremely traumatic. I have suggested Dr. Tenku not include images in her first report, if she wishes to continue her research. Ah. This is Dr. Derek Mance. When I visited Dr. Stern's laboratory today, he was acting oddly, even by his standards. He seemed extremely agitated, speaking too fast to follow. Then I saw the empty can from IS-53. I would have thought a man of Dr. Stern's apparent intelligence would know better than to imbibe beverages from a dispenser that appeared literally from nowhere, restocks itself, and cannot be turned off. I will be pushing Anderson to review the protocols that allow such a device to sit in an open hallway.
We haven't yet captured a complete specimen of 139. Dr. Thule took a sample of its... dust. But this raised more questions than answers. Foremost, 139 appears primarily to be a host rather than an individual. Pendleton theorizes 139 may be suffering an infection, which will require tests to ensure no cross-contamination can occur. And if true, we're unsure whether its behaviors are innate to the original being or a byproduct. It's quite a tangled web, really. We'll need more time. As we dispatch our TR teams to further regions of Antiverse 2, they return with new specimens, most of them variations of a few basic forms. When introduced to the gate facility, these organisms continue to evolve rapidly, acquiring new behaviors. It is my theory that the entropy delta is responsible. How far this evolution will extend remains to be seen. This is, don't you? The Dark Lanes, the core of our perforation research. Or it was. I'd heard rumors of a threat. There are always rumors, but this is insane. They killed everyone, then removed the lens. Without it, how are we supposed to control the portals? They could appear anywhere, connect to anything. Do they realize what they've done? It's almost like they knew our system's weakness. I think that's Dr. Ferenkov over there. People called it the Dark Lens, but that's so portentous. Technically, it's a tachyonic telemetry targeting unit. I should know. I invented it. I thought about using the portals to get out of here. Of course I did. But without the lens, they're impossible to predict, let alone control. And besides, exits ground near entries. If you don't get stranded in some random antiverse, you'll just end up dumped in another part of the facility. Is this my fault? It's... Almost like they knew our system's weakness. <laughs> 